So for school, uh, I also would like to uh, uh, just thank uh, uh, Anu Jui. Thank you for having me. I just like to so that thank you for really presenting this book. Also, great job. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, the teaching, Nagarjun, Nagarjun. Such an honor sitting here. And it's quite embarrassing sitting here when you're there, first of all. Uh, uh, very important uh, coming to the point. I think uh, what Darshan and uh, Anup just read out is exactly what happened. So when you're asking me what I think about crime, uh, we have to be sensitized to it, but we are not. So what happens is when we're sitting here on these chairs, you know, we're sitting here, we're talking about it, right? The minute you step out, you forget about it because it's not happening to you. So I think it requires a lot of commitment to be sensitized to crime, even petty crime robbery in the house, a murder somewhere, because someone's life is lost, someone's money is lost, someone's harder money. So I think it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a conscientious process which we as human beings have still not gone into because by human nature, we're generally very selfish by human nature. So if it doesn't happen to you, you're not really going to bother. So I'm not saying that as a negative, but that's how we are made, that's how we're constructed. So there are, that's why there are exceptions in society, when they do so much more, they stand out. I think we really need to do that, which is why, uh, you know, uh, when you make certain films uh, like on a vigilante, he suddenly stands out because you made a film on a vigilante, because he's doing something that's exceptional, that's out of the society. And I think that's important uh, to really, for each one of us at a micro level to stand up to so that. Thank you. John, um, crime really sets the fact, whether it's on television and film, the more you the crime, the better the film. Recent series on certain, you know, uh, where it sells because they say the crime is <laughs> men have always liked emotional drama, always women have always liked emotional drama. So crime sells. Do you think that in, in a divorced society maybe they can deal with crime and sex? But do you think the kind of gore they show here as a person who belongs to the film industry? Do you think that it is fair on this society? Do you think it really impacts a lot of people to go out there and do things the way it's been done? So films uh, are an influencer. So that's a, that's a fact. Uh, crime does sell, just to answer yeah. your point by point. Crime does sell. Uh, do we want to make films on, on crime? Yes, we want to make films on crime. And you know, I, I speak as a producer when I'm sitting here. My thought is, you know, there must be something interesting in this book that I could pick up to make into a film. Um, how do people react or do, do they get influenced by this? Yes, people do get influenced by this. Like Anup said, there are sometimes people who get influenced by positively. But yeah, there may be some people who get influenced by the nature of the crime that takes place. Um, are we making, uh, is, is, is today ready to make films? like this for an audience, like for a target group, for a teaching to actually sit and watch films like this. Well, we are, we are bloody we, we, what we are doing basically right now is, we are, we are uh, especially through digital, we are making content so warm that we, we are going to create an issue for ourselves or for censorship. So we are going to become recipients of censorship very soon without realizing it. So I think uh, we're doing it to ourselves. So we as uh, makers uh, are, are kind of uh, catalyzing the process and making it move faster in that direction. So yes, there are people out here who enjoy programs on um, Amazon, on Netflix, on, on all, on Geo, all the digital platforms. But at the same time, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be censorship from parents. Uh, there's going to be censorship from seniors. There's finally going to be censorship from government. And when governance comes in, when censorship comes in from there, things become harder. So it's a complicated process. We deal with it every day in films when you go in for your census certificate.